Did you see Psycho Mantis stream yesterday with Sniper Wolf? It was so dumb. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> and just call her Sam. She's not even a real gamer. <laughs> there she is. Hey. We watched you play Among Us last night. <laughs> we did? Yeah, I can't believe no one guessed you were the imposter. I told you it was gonna be Psycho Mantis. <laughs> her name's Sam. And what kind of dumb name is Psycho Mantis anyway? <laughs> <laughs> It's from Metal Gear Solid. I think it's really cool. Oh my gosh, is that the new Darman Studio hoodie? You probably make so much money, you can buy whatever you want. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, thanks, I- It's not even that special. Anyone can buy that dumb merch. Besides, she's not even a real gamer. People only watch her videos to see Sniper Wolf. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> It's okay, don't listen to them. I think you're the best gamer out there. Hey Sam! Are you gonna be streaming with uh, Sniper Wolf again tonight? Oh, yeah I yeah. am. Yes, we can't wait to watch it. Sam! O-M-G, your mom drives a Tesla? I bet you could buy one too, couldn't you? <laughs> If it isn't Sam, the wannabe streamer. You know, just because you have some followers and money doesn't make you better than anyone. What? Of course not. I would never think that. Yeah, right. Show off. You're not even a real gamer. You're just some girl that got lucky. That's all. See you guys later. What are you doing? I said pick me up in the back of the school. I don't want people seeing her crappy car. I'm sorry, honey. She was stalling again. But she's all good now. Let's get going. Hey guys, today we're gonna be playing Fortnite with Sniper Wolf. Hello friends, it's me, and we're about to get this game started. Okay, I'm landing at that house. Cool. Landing at the house next to you. Whoa, there are a lot of comments coming in. You should read some of them. Okay, let's see. Binji98 says, love watching your streams. Oh, thanks. Okay, um, GameRatJoe12 says, hey wannabe gamer girl, you really suck. Hey guys, we're gonna take a quick break. Hey, are you all right? I'm sorry, I'm just not feeling it today. Tell me what's wrong. There's this kid at school and he's always been making fun of me and I'm pretty sure he's the one making those mean comments. Baby, he's right, baby, I shouldn't be a gamer. Don't worry about him. He's probably just taking out his own problems on you. It just really hurts, you know? What am I talking about? You wouldn't understand, everyone loves you. Sam, you think I don't deal with people hating on me all the time? You do? Of course, it comes with the territory. But what I've learned is that when somebody hates on you, it's usually because they're unhappy with their own lives, and that has nothing to do with you. So don't take it personal. Yeah. You're probably right. I'll come see you tomorrow at school to talk about it. Okay. <clears throat> Good game yesterday. I can't believe you got five kills. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, what happened, Psycho Mantis? Heard you had to cut your stream early last night. <laughs> I know that was you in the chat. Just please, leave me alone. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you cry. Everyone's talking about it. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Hey! Are you okay? 
Yeah. That's the kid I was telling you about. He's the one making those mean comments yesterday. Okay, let's go talk to him. What? No way. He hates me. Can you trust me? Please? Okay. If you say so. She won't start. I've tried everything. Why can't you just get this fixed by a real mechanic? I think he went this way. With what money, Jordan? It's gonna cost at least a thousand dollars, and right now, can't even pay our rent. I just got this eviction notice. If we don't come up with eighteen hundred dollars by the end of today, we're out on the street. It's just so unfair. Why does this have to happen to me? Jordan, Jordan, stop, don't go, Jordan. No. I can't believe he's going through all that. What now? I have an idea. Come on. We don't have enough money. There's no way he's gonna accept that. What's gonna happen? Mom, we have nowhere else to go. I don't know, Jordan. I don't know. He's here. Hey, Maria. Hi, Mr. Cornwall. Um, I need a few more days to come up with the rest of the money. Take this, please. It's all we have and uh, we have nowhere else to go. It's actually not why I'm here. I'm writing a receipt for your $1,800 payment. Here you go. Your rent's paid in full. But I don't understand. How did this happen? Uh, you might want to ask them. Wait, what are you two doing here? We found out what was happening, and we wanted to help. Sam and I split it. What? You did? Thank you so much, both of you. I can't believe it. We also have another surprise for you. Here's a thousand dollars, so you can get your car fixed. Oh my god. Thank you so much, both of you. I've been praying for a miracle and I just, this is gonna change our lives. All right. I'll see you at school tomorrow, Jordan. Sam? Look, I just want to say I'm sorry for everything. To be honest, I was only being mean to you because I was unhappy with my own life. I had nothing to do with you. Can you please forgive me? Of course. Thank you so much. We'll never forget this. Dude, did you see Sam's stream yesterday? It was so stupid. She doesn't even deserve to be called a real gamer. Yeah, uh, I watched it, and actually, it was really good. What? Are we talking about the same Sam? If you're referring to Psycho Mantis, then yeah. She's one of the best gamers out there. <laughs> I 
All right, let's go. So sorry, Bree. Are you trying to be funny, Jordan? No, I, I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to throw it in the trash. Really? All right then, let me help you throw it in the trash. <laughs> Since you are trash, Jordan. Nice one. Yeah. You don't have to be so mean. You know, it must be so embarrassing having to clean floors between classes because your mom is so poor. <laughs> hey, don't talk about my mom. And besides, you shouldn't judge someone until you walk in their shoes. I'll talk about whoever I want to talk about. Jordan the janitor. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan the janitor, that's so good. And besides, why would I want to walk in your nasty shoes? He smells. Let's go. Yeah. Ew. Sniper Wolf? She's gonna be at her school today? Yeah. You didn't know? She's coming after school with Psycho Mantis. Yo! I heard Sniper Wolf just got here. Let's go outside and look! That was a close one. Thanks again for doing this meet and greet. Sorry, I didn't think it'd get this crazy. Oh, it's totally fine. Wait, isn't that... Jordan? What are you doing just as a janitor? Janitor? I picked up a job to help my mom with rent. I know, it's so embarrassing. No, it's not. It's actually really cool. Yeah, like I used to work at a store folding clothes. There's no shame in hard work. <laughs> I wish that was true. There's this girl, Bree. She just humiliated me in front of all the school. You're joking. Bree? Someone should call her parents. Oh no, I think they're coming. This might be fucking see you. Thanks, Jordan. Hey, um, have you seen Sam or Snipe Wolf? No, I haven't. Oh. Oh. Whoops. I missed. <laughs> Can you leave me alone? I'm just trying to get my work done. Oh, he's just trying to get his work done. Now I feel bad. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Bree. I... Clean this. Jordan the janitor. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> What's the big deal? It's your job to clean, isn't it? How would you feel if I did that to you? <laughs> I wouldn't know. My mom's rich, so I'll never have to work a day in my life. I'm like, your mom? <laughs> have fun cleaning this up, loser. <laughs> hey, Jordan. Toilet's clogged. <laughs> oh, I'm actually off the clock. Aw. All right, I'll tell you what. You make like six bucks an hour? Here's 50 cents for some of your time. Now go clean the toilet, Jordan the janitor. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Bree? I used to be a bully too. 
You see... <gasps> Look, there's Sniper Wolf! <laughs> Just kidding. I accidentally knocked over your water bucket. <laughs> you better clean this up. <laughs> Bree Elizabeth Johnson. Mom? What are you doing here? I heard how you've been treating Jordan. How could you act like that? What? Heard from who? Recyclable! Hey friends! Let's go outside so we can hang out. Come on! Oh, you can go too, honey. Sorry. So is it true how you've been treating Jordan? Uh, she spilled all this water on the floor. What? Quiet! What's the big deal? He's just a janitor. How would you like it if somebody treated you that way? You should never judge someone until you have walked in their shoes. <laughs> You're joking, right? We have money. Okay, I would never be a janitor. That's gross. There is no shame in hard work. <laughs> you know what? That's the problem. You have never done hard work a day in your life. That's gonna change. What are you talking about? You, my dear, are going to be a janitor. So you know how it feels. And you can start by cleaning up this mess you made. What? No, Mom, there's no way I'm gonna do that. You don't have a choice. It's either that, or you are grounded the entire summer. Come on, Jordan. Let's go hang out with Sniper Wolf. Ugh, this is so dumb. Bree can't believe what just happened. The next day, Bree has to clean the floors in between classes. One of the students comes and throws their garbage at her, laughing and calling her names. Bree is so embarrassed. During lunch, while Bree is picking up the trash, another student dumps their entire tray on the floor. All the kids laugh and stare. Bree gets completely humiliated. And after school, while Bree is mopping the floor, one of her classmates comes and dumps the entire bucket of water for her to clean up. The whole school can't stop laughing. Bree's so embarrassed and finally understands what she made Jordan feel like. And then one day, Bree happens to see Jordan. Here you go, 186. I know it's not much, but I hope it helps. Oh honey, I am so proud of you. This is gonna help more than you'll ever know. Mom, can you give me a cook sec? I'll be right back. Okay. Here, I'll help you. Please don't hit me with that. Hit you with it? Why would I do that? I don't know. Because of how I treated you? Look, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. I never should have judged you before walking in your shoes. Never knew how hurtful it was to be made fun of. Can you please forgive me? Of course. Come on. I'll help you finish. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Why are you still in your pajamas? <laughs> I thought you had an interview today. Yeah, I'm not going to that. I pay like $14 per hour? Who on earth would work for that? Someone who has bills to pay? That's who. 
But you don't have any of those, so you wouldn't understand. Have you seen the... You used all the milk. Oh, I... Sorry. Did you need such a big bowl? Other people share this milk too, you know. It's not that serious. Just buy another gallon after work. It's easy for you to say you're not the one paying for it. <sighs> Whatever. Hey, buddy. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, good morning. <sighs> Why is it so cold in here? I'm glad you said something. I thought it was just me. Hmm. Did you turn on the AC? Yep, this morning. It's freezing in here. What temperature did you set it at? 67 degrees? Do you know how much electricity this uses? Well, it's hot. What else do you want me to do? Well, um, you can take off your hoodie, for starters. But then I'll be cold. Exactly. And you don't have to pump up the AC. What do you have to say? Uh, try not to use the AC so much. Okay, buddy? You guys are being so dramatic. I bet it's not even that expensive. Oh, okay. So you pay the electricity bill all on your own. Oh wait, you can't, because you don't have a job. God, not this lecture again, please. Dad, can you tell her something before she goes crazy? It's okay, honey. He's still young. He's got time. He's 18 years old. When I was his age, I had two jobs and I paid all my own bills. Ugh, I don't want to hear this again. I'm out. What? You're just gonna leave your cereal there. I don't believe this. He just thinks money grows on trees. Uh, he'll learn one day. Do we have any more milk? No, Daniel poured all the rest of the milk in this big bowl of cereal and then just left it. It's fine. I'll just drink my coffee black. Uh, why does our internet bill say that it's going up? Did you change our plan? No. Maybe Daniel did. Are you serious? You know he's going to say, well, what's the big deal? When he's not paying for it. I think we need to put our foot down. He's got to start paying for things. You're right, sweetheart. I'll have a talk with him. Dad, the toothpaste is out. Can you pick some up after work? Um, <clears throat> sure, son. Daniel, did you change our internet package? Oh, yeah. It was lagging on Warzone, so I upgraded our services. It's only like 40 more dollars a month. It's not that big of a deal. $40 a month is a lot of money. What are you doing? What? It's empty. No, look at this. Give me, let me see No, your... that, no, no way. I don't want toothpaste that's been in the trash. Uh, your dad and I will use it then. I'll get it. You can't just go changing our services without letting us know. It was lagging. What do you want me to do? Hi, I have a package for Daniel Ortiz. Oh my god, my package is here. Thank you so much. Enjoy. What in the world did you order this time? Yes, my PS5 is finally here. How in the world did you pay for that? Oh, I used your credit card. You used our credit card. Did he talk to you about this? No, he didn't say anything to me about this. Daniel, how could you charge something so expensive on our card without talking to us? It was only a few hundred dollars. What's the big deal? A few hundred dollars? Do you know how hard it is to earn a few hundred dollars? No, you don't. Because all you do is lay on the couch in your pajamas, drink the last bit of milk, pump the AC, and spend money on our credit card without paying for it. Relax, Mom. You're blowing this way out of proportion. Dad, can you tell her? Uh, your mom's right, son. You gotta listen to her. That's it. Enough is enough. I am returning this. So going forward, if you want to spend money, you spend your own money. So that you can learn that money does not grow on trees. What? No, this is so unfair. It's for your own good, Daniel. 
You know what? Fine. I don't need you guys to buy me anything. I'll get my own job and buy everything myself. Good! And I don't need to live here anymore either. After I get a job, I'm moving into my own apartment. Wait, Daniel, let's talk about... Are you sure this was all necessary? This isn't easy on me either. But I know in my heart that this is the only way he is going to learn. If you say so. The mom and dad stand there hoping Daniel finally learns not to be wasteful with money. The next week, Daniel starts interviewing for jobs. Because he doesn't have much experience, all he gets offered is an entry-level position. He hesitates, but after remembering he has bills to pay, he decides to take the offer and starts working right away. A few weeks later, he moves into his new apartment. Everything seems to be going great. That is, until he realizes how much money he has to spend paying all of his new bills. Daniel quickly sees how much even buying basic things like milk and toothpaste can quickly add up. It doesn't take long for all of his hard-earned money to disappear. Now that he's paying for everything himself, he becomes a lot more responsible to save on bills. A lot less wasteful to save on groceries. And he squeezes every last drop out of everything he has. Daniel finally learns the importance of not wasting money. And then one day, Daniel goes to pay a visit to his parents. Daniel, you look great. Come on in, bud. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. You look nice. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Mom. <laughs> I bought you guys some things. You got us some stuff. Where'd you get us? Our stuff? Now your water filter. You guys spend so much money on water bottles, this will help reduce that cost. Oh, I never thought of that. I'm impressed. I guess that will help us save a lot, huh? Thanks. And I also got you double padded toilet paper. That way you can split it in half and get the most out of each roll. Well, maybe your mom can split hers in half, but I like the extra padding. <laughs> <laughs> well, if at least one of you guys do it, you'll save a lot of money. Oh, and I also got you this. Since you like oranges, I got you seeds to plant them. That way you don't have to buy oranges anymore. Wow, I am so proud of you, honey. But I'm confused. I thought you said spending extra money wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah, well, it took me getting my own job and paying for my own bills. But I finally understand. Money doesn't grow on trees. Hmm. Well, luckily oranges do, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a guy that's rich. Hi, my name's Benjamin. Not interested. Actually, I was trying to talk to your friend Get here. Get lost. Hey, wait. I'll meet you over at the bar. See, this is exactly why you're going to end up with a broke dude. How are you doing, dude? I'm better now. Have fun at the bar with broke Benjamin.